Okay, so I watched The Northman a couple of weeks ago, and what the fuck? I thought it was going to be the most brutal movie of the year, but here we are yet again with something else that's going to be maybe the brutal movie of the decade. So let's get into this. Before we get into this story, let's get a subscribing frenzy going on here. That was fucked. That was corny as hell what I just said. But now for real, if y'all haven't subscribed, subscribe. We're on the road to 21,000 subscribers. Hit that notification bell. The Sadness. So this is a Taiwanese film that is coming out on Shutter next month in May. And it is supposed to be, which they're calling the most brutal zombie movie ever. And that's saying something. So me personally, my favorite zombie movie definitely has to be Train to Busan. Close second, probably 28 days later. And... I'm just excited for another zombie movie, but I saw this trailer, and before we get into this whole, like, talk about the sadness, this movie's not for anybody faint to part. It is a hard, hard, like, rated M, whatever you want to call it, and definitely one that's going to be brutal. So if you're really squeamish, you really are, like, not wanting to see some very violent stuff, this is not the movie to check out at all. Trust me on that one. Especially from what I've read about it. I haven't watched it or anything like that. But just from reading about it. Insanity beyond insanity. And just a movie that's going to be very off-putting for a lot of people. I can tell already. And we're going to get the articles and all of that. So it's going to be insane once this comes out. And definitely as I said. I even said it with my... I even said it with my Northman review that that movie was not going to be for everybody. That movie was brutal and definitely, if you're squeamish, stay away. So this pretty much deals with a Taiwanese couple that everything starts off normal one day. You know, you just like are normal and you're going to work, you're going to do all your errands. And then out of nowhere, a freaking virus that turns people into homicidal maniacs takes over the whole town you're in, ravaging everything. And now you got to find yourselves. Wow. I mean, just imagine that, right? Insanity. So pretty much this is inspired by a comic that pretty much deals with the same thing. Of course, this is sort of very interesting at the times it comes out. Although I don't think the comic was written at the times, but still very interesting as well. So this is a directorial debut. I couldn't even talk almost right there. So this is the directorial debut of Rob Javas and pretty much this whole thing was shot in Taiwan. And yeah, like I said, this film is insanity beyond insanity. Um, after watching the trailer as well, I was very much so like, damn, this is really about to come out because it just looks like something that you would expect to get banned. And I'm not just hyping up this movie to hype it up or anything like that. I'm just hearing a lot about the festival run it had last year and people just keep on talking about it. So I definitely had to check it out, read up about it. And then I just wanted to make a video on it as well. This film will release on May and I will definitely be checking it out as well and making videos for it because... I feel like this one's going to be a real like uh, movie that's going to be controversial. I feel like there's going to be people that are really going to hate it. People like saying that it is a movie that should not have been made or shown or anything like that. And then other people praising it as well. This is really going to be a polarizing uh, movie, I feel. Like no in between. And like I said, I am a fan of movies such as Train to Busan, 28 Days Later. And the reason I feel like I really like those zombie movies a lot is because those zombie movies had heart at them. At the core of it all, there was heart, there was the human connection, all of that. It just wasn't about bloodthirsty zombies, which don't get me wrong, I do like a good action horror film that deals with just zombies, like being like, like people just trying to survive, right? But I also love movies such as Train to Busan, 20 Days Later, that at the end of the day, they're still gonna get you in the feels, right? So that's pretty much where I feel with this uh, movie, I'm wondering, if there's any heart to it or if it's just like a straight up action type of zombie movie. I'm curious about that because the whole like couple dynamic and everything I feel wouldn't be introduced if there wasn't going to be something plugged in there that was also going to have us in the feels right about things. So I'm just curious about that as well because from the trailer alone it just looks like this just wants to be like you're playing some video game or something right. So we're we're, we're curious. I'm curious so. Let me know what you think about that. Does your zombie movie need to have heart or are you okay with just pure action? I'm okay with either. But once this movie is released, we will be doing a video on it as well. So make sure your notification bell is turned on. Make sure you're subscribed already if you haven't been already. 
I will be releasing the podcast I did as well where I talked a little bit more about this movie. So definitely check it out. It'll be here on YouTube, but I'll also, um, once I upload on YouTube, I'll give a link to where I'll be uploading them, like the site and everything. So y'all can go check it out there as well and be subscribed to it as well. It's going to be a podcast I do Wednesdays and I feel Sundays will be the days. Just sort of in the middle of the week and at the end of the week. So pretty much just covering news that we got during those times. And just something new I want to introduce to the channel. As I'm saying, I'm expanding this more. I'm really trying to turn it into something special. Trying to get the website running. So definitely um, stay tuned for that pretty soon. But excited for everything else to come for y'all. But yeah, let me know what is your favorite zombie movie. Do you think zombie movies have been overdone? Like, what can this film do that's different from other zombie movies? I'm very interested in learning what that is. Because this film currently has pretty high scores, pretty rave reviews. So, very interested in seeing what exactly everybody's raving about. Because I feel like zombie movies have been overdone. The TV shows, everything. There was a zombie craze like 10 years ago. And pretty much I feel like we've gotten everything we can get from the genre. But... I stand to be amazed. So let me see what this movie has, right? So let me know your thoughts, your opinions. What's your favorite zombie movie? Drop it below in the comments. Very interested to know that as well. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you know when I drop the video when we talk about the movie once it does release, because we'll be doing a breakdown, all that good stuff. And I might do a couple of zombie videos on my favorite zombie like pieces of media in honor of this movie coming out so weeks leading into it maybe i'll drop two zombie videos a day not a day a week so we'll see we'll see let me know your thoughts and opinions and i might make a video with everybody's zombie picks as well just going down a list and checking out some maybe i haven't even checked out before so i think that'd be kind of cool to have a list for everybody to definitely check out but yeah as always that's going to do it for me um yeah let's continue the video yeah, let me know what you think about the sadness, if you've heard about it. I heard about it when it was at Fantasia Fest, when people were, like, talking about it. And everybody was saying, like, this was going to be insane. Is this even going to be in theaters or shown in the U.S.? Things like that. And, like, a large audience. And I guess we got our answer from Shudder. But as always, that is going to do it for me. If you haven't already, check out the video on the left. Make sure you hit that uh, notification bell so you know when videos drop. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As I said, we are on the road to 21,000 subscribers, less than 500 away. We will be doing a giveaway at 25,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. And as always, check out the other social medias, Twitter, TikTok. I will be uploading the podcast on YouTube. So when you check it out there, I'll also give the links. Give give the links of where it's also available for you to check out if you don't want to click on the video or whatever so anyways as always i'll see you over next time stay safe stay positive